Stay out of the way of the video screens. All right, here we go. You're on. Go. All right, and, and for our last signing of the day, um, you know, we, we have AJ Shorts and, um, you know, where to start, what haven't I said about the guy um, in the newspapers, you know, over the years to him, to the team. Um, this, this is the ARC standard. This is the guy that um, has exemplified leadership um, over these four years and, and really what it takes to, to be great at anything you want to do to be successful. Um, I talk a lot about feed and, and faith and excitement, effort and discipline, and talk about people who have those skills to be um, successful in life. And it's very rare um, that you get to coach a guy that has all four. Um, I don't know in three years if there was a day he wasn't the first one on the field and the last one off. That's lip service. That's something that people just say. But it was true. He believed it. He believed in all of those things that came out of the coach's mouth that he had heard and said, I'm going to do those and be great. Um, and again, it was just, it was appreciated. It was appreciated every week. He was, when there's so many variables in football and coaching and as a team, and you never had to worry about this specific thing, it's a beautiful thing. Um, and not a lot of people get to experience that. So I've just been extremely lucky to coach him. Um, I can think about all the times that, you know, him, him bringing everybody back and the energy and, you know, big comeback wins and keeping everybody up and coach shorts with his cell phone ringing that everybody's going to hear on this. <laughs> even, even with this as his father doing all of those things correctly, um, I think it's even more of a testament to, you know, who he is and what he was. Um, you know, kids bought into it and always felt that we had an opportunity to win, um, you know, with AJ at the helm. And it really showed and, you know, getting to even this senior year and, and wanting to change the course and, and working hard this offseason through COVID and, you know, leading to a, you know, great 2-0 and start. And, you know, that's special. That was a legacy. That was talking about leaving a legacy and doing those things. Um, he did it because he believed and he had faith in it. So, um, I don't know. I could go on forever <laughs> talk about AJ. I'm just extremely proud of him and extremely proud that he's going to go to a place that, family knows well, but somewhere he's wanted to always go. So maybe I'll get the opportunity to talk. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's pretty crazy that I'm at this point. <coughs> uh, growing up, our, you know, me and Coach Atwood's kids running around here, we were, uh, we were the best water boys in the nation. <laughs> and uh, dreaming of playing on court and uh, being a starting quarterback, watching my big brother, watching Godwin, who's also a big brother to me, play on the field and coming up. And, you know, Coach Hall didn't have to, have to, uh, he didn't have to take a chance on me. Fat kid out there trying to throw the ball. He didn't have to take a chance, but uh, he did. And, uh, worked out pretty good for us. So uh, I just want to thank Coach Hall and thank everybody. And I'm blessed to be a Brush Heart, Brush Heart for life. And, uh, going to Mount Union, the University of Mount Union, be a Purple Raider, commit again <laughs> from when I was four. <laughs> I'm excited. So. So again, just want to thank you, thank your family for everything you did for the ARCs so over in South Eagle Linder schools for the entire time um, that you've been there. You've set the standard and uh, people will have to look